What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and today I just want to do a follow-up video to a video I made last week about the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector and how it didn't work. I bought a second pack so I've gone through four of the Whitestone Dome glass screen protectors to ensure that I wasn't doing something wrong and I changed one thing up and now my fingerprint scanner works absolutely perfectly. No issues with this fingerprint scanner. So I'm going to go through the installation process and I'm going to show you what I did differently on the third and the fourth time because I did it a third time it worked and then to make sure that it wasn't a fluke I did it a fourth time and it absolutely worked with this method. So let's get into the installation process and I'm going to show you the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector. Fingerprint scanner works flawlessly. Everything is working great. I am super super happy. Inside the box guys, this is everything that you get. And again, it looks a little complicated, but it really isn't. It's just a couple steps, but it, it is more involved because you are adhering the glass to your, to your glass screen. So this is how you'll get that perfect installation once again. So again, if you are interested in picking this up, check my link down below. You can save a little bit of coin too with my links, but let's get into this installation. I'm gonna show you what I did. The first step is to put the black tape and cover all of your open ports, all of your open holes. Just make sure you cover it properly and make sure that you don't put this tape over the glass itself. You want the tape to just ride along this metal rail. It doesn't matter how it looks, if it looks pretty or not, guys. Just make sure to firmly press the tape down and make sure all of these holes are covered. All of these points of entry into the innards of your phone are covered. That's step number one, so definitely do that. Jeff, definitely you don't want any glue to go on the inside here. Step number two is to put these pads, these little absorption pads, right in the little jig itself. Get that ready. Get your little UV light ready. Get the weight ready. Get everything ready. Now, what we want to do, guys, is if you have any old screen protector on here. So this is the one I've been using. I'm kind of sad to take it off because it actually worked pretty well, but glass is glass. Plastic is plastic. And next what you want to do is just clean your screen to so get the alcohol wipe and clean the screen there. Make sure to get all the dust off of your screen. Definitely ensure you get the dust off guys. You do not want any dust on your screen when you put this, this glass screen protector on. Especially when you've done it as many times as I have. You don't want to do it again. So that looks pretty good to me. Next what you want to do is input your phone into the little jig and make sure you hear it snap into place four times. Make sure that snaps in and then again I just like to check if I have any dust left. And now this is super important. You have to put on this little speaker cover. You, you want to cover your speaker. Once again you don't want any, any of this glue to go inside of your phone. That would just be a no-no. And I just like to get the little bottom of this plastic piece just to press on it. Because again, you're trying to minimize the fingerprints or the dust that get on the actual screen before you do this process. If you have nails, you can just press along the top there just like so. But that's perfectly fine. Now once again, take this little jig, take this little piece and snap it on into place there. And again, you might have some dust, so now is the time that you really want to get rid of any of this dust. I think I've gotten all the dust off. Let's go ahead and input this thing. Let's go ahead and put the bridge on. Get our glue ready. Take off the little pink part first. And get it ready to insert right over here. Next, you want to let all the glue out for about 100 seconds. Get the Whitestone Dome Glass screen protector ready. Make sure not to touch the inside of it. And then get your weight. Put your weight right on the top here. And now what you want to do, you want to bring the jig down, press on it at the end, and get that glue right in the center. Once you get the glue in the middle here, you're going to want to remove this little piece and wait about 100 seconds for the glue to completely go across the entire screen.
Give this about 100 seconds. If you see it's not really spreading properly, you can get the glue to go where it needs to just by kind of wiggling with the little jig here. Just wiggle it a little bit. So oh, almost 100 seconds. And what you're going to want to do, 15 seconds on the bottom, 15 seconds on the middle, 15 seconds on the top. And you can just press the UV light once, but I like to have a little timer as well. Whatever makes you guys most comfortable. It's about 100 seconds. You can let it wait a little bit longer if you need to. But I'm all done with that 100 seconds. It looks like the glue did its thing. So now just remove the little weight very, very gently. Again, put it on the bottom. Press the little UV light once. It's going to count itself 15 seconds. Next, 15 seconds in the middle. And then again on the top. Now the first curing process is over. Just kind of remove your phone from the jig here. D don't press too, too much. It should come off without any hitch. And everything came off pretty nicely. Now get your alcohol tab and kind of run it along and, and get rid of any excess glue that you might have. So we got a little excess glue right down there. This is the super important part to make sure that your fingerprint scanner is going to work. Press down firmly on the area where your fingerprint scanner is about five or six times. Last time I only did it about once or twice, but I would suggest doing it five, six or seven times and really firmly. Again, you want to spread out that glue. You don't want that glue to be concentrated in the area where the fingerprint scanner is. So once again, I have to stress five or six or seven times, press really, really firmly on, on the area where the fingerprint scanner is. And that's what I did differently. That gave me this nice installation this time. So try that and let me know how it goes on your installation. Okay, so now we're going to cure it once again, guys. We're going to do 60 seconds twice. So press this little UV light twice. And we're going to cure this thing. And we'll do the same on the top. And then we're going to pass it one more time. Do the same on the top. Okay, this is going to be the moment of truth, guys. Last step that I do, I know you, you can do this step in between before that second curing, but I'm just going to remove this tape right now. Everything is cured, everything is done, so we don't need this tape here. And if you have any glue, just kind of get rid of that. S Pen is still fine. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of this tape, and then there should be one more on the top. Wipe everything down. One more wipe down. Before I turn it on, hopefully this is going to be a good installation. But I don't have any dust so far. It looks like it's pretty cool, pretty nice. So here's the moment of truth, guys. I'm going to turn on this, the, the S22 Ultra. Okay, so without even retraining my finger, let's kind of see how this is going to go. And then I'm going to retrain my finger. I put in my pin code. I haven't retrained my finger. Let's kind of see how this is going to work and get it away from face unlock. And it seems to actually be working better. Okay, let's retrain my finger, guys. So again, guys, I think by pressing firmly five, six, seven, eight, nine times on the area where the fingerprint scanner is, it just thins out that glue and it just ensures that that the sensor can actually see through what it needs to see through, which is your finger. So I'm just kind of, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm just unlocking it as I normally would. And definitely a contrast from my last video, definitely working each and every time. And I'm not really pressing that firmly on the screen itself. And just to show you guys one thing, I do not have touch sensitivity increased either. So again, even without touch sensitivity turned on, it's working just about 99% of the time, maybe 95% of the time. Let's not go too crazy with the percentages, but that's about right when it comes to these fingerprint scanners. You, you all know they don't work 100% of the time, but I'm super happy at least it's working. So I just wanted to make this video, guys, because if something's wrong and I, and I correct it or it gets corrected, I always do a follow-up video. I'm not going to leave a video up that, that has some misinformation, that has false information. That's not what I'm about. But I did go through two previous screen protectors, and they just didn't work. 
until I did this method of really pressing down pretty firmly. I'm going to admit it one more time, about five, six, seven times. I just kept pressing on this area to thin out the glue. And I did owe it to you, the viewers, my subscribers, or even anyone just trolling YouTube and found my video. Whitestone Dome does work. Take your time with it. Do that installation process and your fingerprint scanner is going to work and, and you're going to have a really nice screen protector on top. Definitely one of the best screen protectors for curved glass in my opinion. But I appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.